A few weeks ago, I received this express post envelope in the mail. I ripped it open quickly, thinking, at last, maybe my ships come in. A million bucks going into my bank account because I'd won lotto. No such luck. It was a letter from the New South Wales government. The letter, sporting the New South Wales government logo and the authority that goes behind that, informed me that the New South Wales Telco Authority intended to construct a 30 metre high tower at Teal's Lookout. This is Teal's Lookout where they want to put a 30 metre tower up into the sky so that we can have better Wi-Fi connection. government has confirmed Optus will pay for the cost of replacement passports for customers exposed by the data breach. Seven days since an unprecedented data breach that's seen Optus in damage control and customers and small businesses increasingly concerned about their personal data. The letter came at about the same time as Optus was going into meltdown mode after it was revealed that 9 to 10 million of its customers had all their secrets, their most important private data, hacked into and all the company could do was say, look, we're really sorry about this, um, we want to make amends and uh, we'll give you credit for a, a month or two like that on us and uh, that wasn't good enough. It made, makes you think whether in fact the telcos are telling us all the truth when they say that, trust us, now, there's no problem with EMF radiation. That's a radiation that comes from our mobile phones, from our kids' laptops and iPads, from our sort of um, the monitors in our baby rooms and, and the internet in general Wi-Fi. And those phone towers that have gone up around the country like um, mushrooms. Hundreds of concerned residents attended the recent protest rally because they do not want 5G in the Shire. Exodus of bird species and insect species dropped dramatically. So finally, in all of this, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that there has been no public consultation. No. Not, not at all. <laughs> consultation with the public. <laughs> According to the 5G Space Appeal, the deployment of 5G constitutes an experiment on humanity and the environment that is defined as a crime against international law. Over 100,000 signatories from at least 187 countries have signed, including scientists, doctors and environmental organisations. never identified as activists who have never used their voice for protest are being called to question and research and stand up on this issue. Thank you all for being here. Radiation we don't need. Knowing Wi-Fi and the introduction of 5G was a divisive issue in Mullumbimby, Telstra upgraded the tower above Mullum Post Office when the community was distracted and recovering from the floods. 26 years ago, my generation fought to establish this national park here, which Premier Bob Carr put into place. 
It's a wonderful biodiversity landscape of uh, owls and wedge-tailed eagles, koalas, reptiles, you name it, frogs, you know, bats, insects that we depend upon for our clean air and our clean water. They have taken millions of years to get to the point of evolution where they are now. Suddenly we come along with our desire to have faster speeds and faster sort of internet service and demand of them that they adapt to us. Yes, we do need reliable communications in times of emergency, bushfires or the recent floods. However, that reliable service can be much better delivered by way of satellite phone and Starlink, as we saw during the time of the floods. To work well, a 30 meter tower will have to rely on line of sight to guarantee reception. And this is hilly country with dense bush all around. We can't even leave this little patch of forest to them in order to be able to sort of keep on going as they have done for hundreds of thousands, millions of years. What is it about us, we human species, that think we're at the top of the pyramid and that we got it all right and we can invade their space and nature won't come back to bite us in the bum as we've seen with climate change, the bushfires, the droughts and the floods that we've had recently here. When are we gonna get it through our heads? You don't mess with nature and think you can just come away with it scot-free. What are we doing to our kids' generation? What are we handing on to the next generation of children and all the species on this beautiful planet that we call Earth? Scientific studies have documented the microwave radiation this tower emits will play havoc with the very sensitive navigational systems of the birds and bees, the bats and insects, and other fauna that live in this forest, the chief pollinators, which we depend upon for our food. Over the coming next days and, and weeks, before we have to vote on whether that tower goes up onto the top of Teal's Lookout above Mullumbimby and above Wilson's Creek here where I live, whether in fact it's safe or not for us and the wildlife and for our kids, then I'm going to take you bit by bit through some of the top scientists that I've tracked down in the debate about whether we can trust Telcos, Optus, Telstra, Vodafone, etc that there's no harm with EMF radiation. Trust us, we don't want to see you um, or your kids radiated at all. We work well within and below the international standards on EMF radiation. It's a lie in fact, but I want to prove it to you, not just rely upon hearsay and, and conspiracy theories, but the solid side. Tomorrow, I'll introduce you to a top radiation scientist, Victor Leach. Holding his Masters in Science in Applied Physics, Victor has worked for over 40 years in radiation. 
Vic worked for 10 years for the Commonwealth Government's Australian Radiological Laboratory. First thought I was going to be a geophysicist, but um, eventually found my way to the Australian Radiation Labs, uh, and, uh, which is now called the Panzer. And um, I, got, I was front and centre of the uranium. Um, started up the uranium mining section. Uh, I wanted to protect miners, um, so we wrote codes of practice. For the Australian Radiological Laboratory was the forerunner to Arpanza. Arpanza is the government authority today who regulate the EMF radiation coming from our Wi-Fi devices and phone towers. It's right here at Teal's Lookout that they want to put a 30 metre tower going up so we can have good Wi-Fi connection. Our panzer is supposed to keep our kids, the wildlife and us safe while living in this forest. See you here tomorrow on the site for more info on EMF radiation. Mm -hmm.